28th of Safar, on this day in the year 11 AH, our Holy Prophet Muhammad Al Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was martyred, and his grandson Imam Hassan Al Mujtaba in the year 50 AH was also martyred. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam lived in Mecca for 13 years after the declaration of prophethood. After that, he migrated to Medina and reached there on Monday. He stayed in Medina for 10 years. With her heart grieving, Fatima al Zahra Sallallahu Alaihi came to visit her father, who was on his deathbed and about to respond to his Lord's call. She sat near his bed with a broken heart and eyes full of tears, chanting this poetic line. A wise man seeking clouds with his face. He is a guardian of orphans and protection for widows. At that moment, the Prophet opened his eyes, murmuring these words. O oh my daughter, these words were uttered by your uncle Abu Talib. You should never repeat them, but you have to say, Muhammad is no more than a messenger. Many were the messengers that passed away before him. If he dies or is slain, will you then turn back on your heels? If anyone turns back on his heels, not the least harm will he do to Allah. But Allah, on the other hand, will swiftly reward those who serve him with gratitude. Imam Ali alayhi salam stuck to the messenger like his shadow till the last moments of his noble life. While he was all the time instructing and teaching him, committing to him his secrets and hidden facts. In the very last hour, the messenger of Allah said, Call my brother Ali, whom he had sent to fulfill a certain task or mission, with some Muslims entering upon him. But the Prophet paid no attention to them at all, till Ali السلام, came and approached him. The Prophet said to him, Come close to me. When Ali السلام, approached him, he leaned on his shoulder till the signs of death showed on his face. The Messenger of Allah died with his head on Ali's lap. The Prophet was left alone in his last moments with Ali ibn Abi Talib and some of his kin from Banu Hashim. The news of his death reached people through the clamor and screaming that was heard emanating from the messenger's house that lamented the separation and departure of the most beloved leader, the noblest creature on earth. After that, Abu Bakr along with Umar and a number of their followers rushed towards Saqifah of Bani Sa'ida after being told that an emergent meeting was to be held in the Saqifah to determine a successor to the Messenger of Allah after his death. On the other hand, Imam Ali السلام, and his household were engaged in shrouding and giving ghusl to the Messenger of Allah. Ali السلام, gave ghusl to the Prophet without taking off his dress, aided by Al Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib and his son Al Fadl, uttering the following words while giving ghusl to the Messenger of Allah May my father and mother be your ransom. How pleasant was your scent when alive and even now when you are dead. The first one who performed that prayer for the Prophet was Ali, followed by Bani Hashim and after them the helpers, the Ansar. Then a grave was dug and prepared for the Prophet in the same room in which he passed away. Imam Ali السلام, then descended into the grave, uncovered the Prophet's face, placed his cheek over the earth and then piled up the soil over his body. None of the companions who went to the Saqifa of Bani Sa'ida were present or participated in the burial procedure of the Prophet. Also on this day in the year 50 AH, Imam Hassan al-Mujtaba was martyred. One of the holy Imam's wives was Ju'dah bint Ash'ath bin Qais. Muawiyah conspired with Ju'dah to give the holy Imam some poison. In return, she would get a hundred thousand dirham and he would marry her to Yazid. This evil woman put poison in the holy Imam's drinking water and he immediately fell gravely ill as a result. After great suffering, the holy Imam salam departed from this world. Just before he died, he entrusted the affairs of Imama to his brother Imam Hussain and made him the guardian of his own family.